On the 18th of October 2011, the Supergen DOSH 2 project hosted the event Future Hydrogen Production. The event brought together leading industry stakeholders, policy makers and UK academics working on the next generation of hydrogen production technologies. Together, they discussed the progress and potential business opportunities arising from the Supergen DOSH 2 project's research. The event also allowed industry to present the latest developments on the production of hydrogen, fuel cells and their deployment, and the role of hydrogen in the energy supply value chain. Hydrogen is a great way to, to have an energy vector which addresses transport, power and heat issues that are facing us now. And it is really a good alternative to the way we have traditionally done things. There are really three energy vectors which we can, in the UK which you consider. One's electricity, one's gas of some sort, be either natural gas or hydrogen, and one is hot water. And the, the relative um, infrastructure distribution costs are something like one for natural gas, seven for electricity, and, elect and hot water is just very, very, exp very, very expensive to distribute. What gas does is it gives you the opportunity to uh, to, to store energy from winter to summer and gives you a fundamentally lower cost distribution network. And if you take electricity, if it costs you three pence to um, generate electricity, you still stand it for 11 pence. I mean, there's an enormous distribution cost there. Whereas if you take natural gas, you buy it on the beach for, say, a penny, penny and a half, and you sell it for four pence. The distribution cost and the system cost is much, much lower for gas and for gaseous fuels than for electricity. Certainly in the past couple of years things seem to have been really picking up. Um, I think particularly driven by the um, McKinsey report last year looking at um, uh, the different um, drivetrains and fuel cell vehicles in particular came out very strongly there so leading to quite a momentum for the development of hydrogen infrastructure to um, support um, the development of fuel cell vehicles so got some quite interesting developments there and then of course there's a lot of interest in hydrogen to address uh, the intermittency of renewables and also around thinking about carbon capture and storage technologies um, to do with more conventional fossil fuels. So a number of different strands of developments in the energy space where hydrogen could play a very important role. We know a lot about hydrogen, we, we, we can handle hydrogen very safely. It's a very uh, standard commercial product, but doing it sustainably and uh, making it a commercial product across power, heat and transport is challenging, interesting and should evolve into a very good basis for revival of manufacturing and activity in the UK uh, because of the opportunities that will arise from hydrogen. If you're the Mayor of um, Newcastle or the Mayor of Manchester, you want to turn your city green you could lobby with, the, with, your, with your gas distribution company to convert your town to hydrogen. I mean, you've got to do it on an area basis. You've got to convert a quarter of a million homes and the, the associated 114 petrol stations where there are that go with, 100, that, that go with quarter of a million homes and half a million people. You haven't, got to, you haven't got to convert the whole of the UK. I think because of the UK's political will to address climate change, and historically we've got a lot of old infrastructure. We're in a position to do things differently that perhaps some other countries can't and we can set a very good example.